have a clean up, push everything to the sides, figure out where I want the pump, and we're gonna to put together some pipe work. Hopefully today we'll get the elements ordered at some point. So yeah, I wanna sort of get the layout ready and get prepared to start CIP these tanks and really basically get everything set and ready to go because we ain't far off now. I feel like there's a lot to do already <clears throat> and uh, we've only just arrived. So the best thing I can do is get cracking. I've just turned the pump off so it's a little bit quieter. We've pretty much run cleaning through, fluid through there. You can see if there's any crap in there, it's bringing it off. We've got the sparge arm set up. That uh, this pipe as well, I can just clip in to transfer down on the boil kettle side. Until I've got some more money to put stainless steel pipe work in on everything, we'll plumb the pump in and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to drop everything down to half inch fitting and just use uh, the silicon hoses that I've got and crack on in that sense. So everything's going to be throttled down through a ball valve onto the snap lock fittings. This side we're not going to have the element protection in there quite yet. So I've blanked off one of the inlets and on the other side we've got of course the uh, thermoprobe going in there. We've still got two elements to go in as you know. This here is for the sight glass. So you'd open this up, this lever, that's to protect it in case it's leaking. I need to take this off to clean the pipe. And we'd have a piece of hose pipe running up to here. Open vent in the top. You'll be able to see the level inside the tank. On the bottom, I'm going to come out that tank with a three quarter inch BSP and then three quarter inch pipe going into a recirc pump to recirculate that. This will pro be probably one of these Clark pumps. They're 99 pound from eBay. Then when we've got some cash, we'll obviously upgrade to these. They have a plastic impeller, so they're not suitable for anything too hot, but I think they'll be fine on the, on the HLT. And then this one we're gonna use for transferring the wort out of the mash tun and recirculate for the boil. I have to be very careful with it because like I said, it's just gonna need sanitizing well before we use it. And it's gonna be used hot side, it's never gonna be used cold side. So it should be relatively safe to have in action. And then I've got on the top here, the inlet for when we're transferring out of the mash tun. The trouble is this inlet, it sort of sprays straight at that wall there so we need to put a bit of a 90 degree return on here and if I do it right I'll be able to come down and sideways and as well as producing a nice in flow into the boil kettle I'll be able to set up for a whirlpool as well so I've got a couple of 90 degrees and down here on the floor we've got so oh yeah, I've stood it up there actually look we've got some one inch pipe 25.4 mil pipe so what we'll do is put together a little bit of a uh, a whirlpool doodly do 
right now in fact. Right, so this is the test of the whirlpool then. So this is basically the connector for the outside to hook the pump up. We've got a BSP fit in here, which we're going to screw onto there. And then we're going to fit this one and a half inch RJT. Right. And then this is the... Uh, actual whirlpool arm so let's go inside and install this okay being careful not to knock the tripod off because it's precariously balanced the first thing we're going to do is screw this one inch rjt90 to the bsp nipple that we've already installed and that just tightens up nicely in the downward position and then we come in with the uh, the pointy end, and basically screw him up onto there until we get into the position we want. Oh well, I could do with another turn or two. There she is, that's not bad is it when you look at it from that angle. So it's going to come in, it's going to uh, take the fluid straight down to the bottom, or pretty much as well past halfway in the tank, and, uh, and kick it out into a cycle. And I guess I could keep twisting that if I wanted to change the position of the whirlpool, you know, I could go the other direction it's a little bit stiff i think it needs bedding in and i shouldn't really be trying to do it with a camera in my hand so i just sat down to mark out for the cip on the boil kettle lid and it came to my mind that we actually need a chimney for it don't we so what i'm going to do is probably order some type of flu liner if I can't come up with a better solution but in order to get the flu liner attached to the lid what I'm going to do is cut a rectangle of sheet and uh, I'm going to freaking roll it <laughs> I am, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it through the roller and we'll make a chimney about yay big and, uh, and connect it to the top of the boil kettle and then direct that up and out. I think it'll be a winner. As far as today goes though folks, I'm on the school run. So that is my next job. We'll see you tomorrow.